Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pam. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So in this video, I wanted to share my review and the demonstration how to use this new Canon Selfie CP1500 compact photo printer. And I have in the shade white. So these are the things which I got in this box. There is one manual how to use it, which I'm definitely going to check it out. And then there is this ink. I didn't know that was called ink, but later on I figured it out that that is the ink thing which is in yellow. And uh, your this part you need to insert the papers. They also gave five free uh, photo papers, so that I finished in one go. So I had to order another bundle of 108 papers so I will definitely share all the link in my description box below you know you can check it out if in case you are interested to buy one So here I'm showing you the manual. They are given eight step by step, but after eight, there is nothing mentioned. So it was a little difficult for me to understand how to start. They were in different languages. So I took the help of some tutorials on the video, just like you are watching this video. So um, if you don't understand mine, you can definitely go ahead and you know refer with other tutorials um, you can find on YouTube. So I went one by one. So it is mentioned you also need an app to download on your mobile so go ahead and download this selfie um, you know Canon selfie app so uh, once everything is set up It took really some time to understand how to, you know, insert this ink thing inside this machine. So um, then I figured it out. So maybe you can forward a little and check. It is little. Um, it was easy finally. Just look at the shape of this ink cartridge or what it's called, and you need to put it inside. I thought it will be just hanging out, but no, it goes directly inside. So that was my mistake, silly mistake. So. Um, so I figured it out finally. So these are the five papers which you get to print the photos and um, right now I am inserting these five papers wrong. You need to put the glossy side on top. So later on I figured it out. So 
you need to put the glossy part on top the the one which is written photo print photo print on top that should be below so i corrected that later on So now I turn this uh, printer on and I chose the language English. The next step, they it's mentioned there that now you need to download this app. So I went and brought my son's mobile because I had to use my mobile for this app thing. So that's the reason I switched it to the other mobile right now. So once you have this app and it took five minutes to understand to scan the QR code from the machine to my, uh, you know, camera, the app. So, you, um, you know, you need to hold it straight on top. I was lying the, uh, the printer down. That's the reason it was not scanning. So once I hold it, uh, you know, horizontally right in front of my hand and then scanned it, then it was easy. So don't do the same mistake like me. So finally, I chose some photos from my gallery and I what I decided which pictures I want to print. So let's see how this works. You can select, you know, you can literally crop and uh, you can adjust the picture uh, however you want. Whether you want the border or remove the border, I kept the border white. So you can even have, if you remove the border, it looks little, you know, uh, focused or zoomed in. And if you add the border, it will look also nice inside the frame. So I added the border. I just left it as it is. The first time it come, you know, gets the yellow ink and it comes out. So wait for the second round again. It again goes inside and comes out in the red ink. And the third time it comes glossy properly. So then your, uh, you know, the photo is ready. That's how it looks. I am really impressed with how it looks. So I was excited to click some more print, uh, you know, print some more photos one with me and my dog champ that also turned out very nice what i did is the second one second time what i did is i already applied uh, you know filter on my photo or uh, you know from my mobile gallery itself it just you know made it bright brightening more and little more you know whatever the filter thing you want to use smoothing and all that so I did that and then I removed the printer. Oh my God, I was so happy how the photo turned out. You should see how it looked.
so i already had these frames which is magnetic one i mean a brand gifted me uh, it was almost a year now in my cupboard so i thought like now finally i can you know print some photos and add in this frame so this was very nice i really like it i'll share the links in my description box below these were affordable you get something around 6 or 7 frames together and uh, you just need to uh, you know put this photo card inside two magnetic frames and it was very nice so i really like how it looks maybe i'll buy some more frames So finally these are my photos I printed from Canon for photo printer I hope you guys like it this short demo and if you like if you're interested to buy this printer check out all the details in my description box below